the way out of four, I'm pretty much assured, hopefully, to get a male and a female, which is really all we're looking to get. Um, I'm going to leave this one because it hasn't come up, and it could be a dead seed. It could just be that I buried the seed three millimeters instead of two. So it's going to take an extra six or eight hours, and then it's going to sprout up, okay? Known as late bloomer. Really, it's not late. It's just that I buried it a little deeper. Or it could be a weak seed, okay? Just simply weak genetics. Each seed is different. Um, though they are sisters, they are the, there is genetic uh, uh, differences. So now basically what I do is I'm going to continue to let these veg. They're going to grow up, and, and, and in the next segment, um, you'll see how we have to at one point tie them off because they're going to stretch. They're going to stretch right up, and, uh, and we're going to have to use uh, bamboo stakes to, to tie them off. So I'm going to go ahead and set these aside and, and then start to talk a little bit about this uh, regenerated plant and why I did it when it's something that cultivators generally don't want to do. If you're a real cultivator, if you truly understand uh, stress factors and, and varying factors about um, about regenerating a plant, it is it is extremely stressing. Um, what exactly happens to the cannabinoid profiles or the uh, the genetics of the plant, if you have it, the medical properties of the plant, what happens to it, we don't even know. I mean, there's no way of testing. Um, when I look at this plant here, I can tell, like, this has been regenerating for about three weeks. You can see, because I can take a clone here, I'll get my wife to zoom in on this, this could basically be a new clone. I could clone this, and this strain here is hog. Now, this was such an impressive strain that uh, I only had one female. I didn't have any other females. Now, I still have some seeds of this particular strain, but instead of going through all that again, I thought that I'd give it a chance because it was so stable and so high yielding and just stunk. I could see how it got its name hot because it smells like a hog pen. No shit, it really stinks. But when you're regenerating, you can see here, here's where the bud used to be. You can see I actually left four buds. I'll get my wife to zoom in on this. This little compact section here, this isn't some weird growth. This is nothing.